going on Nitrocytes? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome back to another episode of my tier list series. Still not going away, still going to be making more of these videos, but um, I should have I should have combined that last one into two different videos, because I could definitely have done like a two 15 minute videos instead of like a 25 minute video for the two of those, but I did, so there's that. Um, I've done all the different generations, and uh, I've done the Mega Evolutions and the Gigantamax forms. I've kind of given my opinion on, on every one of the Pokemon and every one of the forms. So, but, um, I guess I could do, like, different different sections of Pokemon and give a little bit more of a reason into why I feel about them. But, let me know down in the comments what you think about that. But, um, either way, I'm going to be doing this, which is, today's episode is going to be going over the po main series Pokemon games from all the way back from 1999 or 1998, one of the two, and Pokemon Yellow, all the way up to Sword and Shield. Um, but before we get into the video, I do just want to say that I am trying to get this channel partnered, so if you would like to, to see more videos of me, if you'd like to see more of this ugly mug right here, and, um... If you like this content and you'd like to see more of it, then subscribe, guys. I, I would highly appreciate it. Just subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell, so that when I do re release a video, you will be notified. And uh, that has a um, better chance of getting us partnered, so I can do that for you guys. As much as I like doing that, I don't have as much time. And it would definitely give me more of an incentive if I was getting paid for it, even though I love making videos for you guys anyways. So, yeah, that gets all the, um, you know, announcements out of the way. So, I guess let's just get right into it. So, um, there is, I found, I found this one that goes from S, A, B, C, D, F, and bruh. Um, I am not going to be using all these. I'm only going to be using S through D. Um, S being, I love it, I love it. Um, A is, it's pretty good. B is... Um, I'm impartial to it. C is it could be better. Um, and D is hate it. Now, there will be no, um, there will be none in hate it, you know. Because there isn't any game, Pokemon game, that I hate. And let me just say, before I get this out of the way, um, there are a couple of Pokemon games that I'm like, eh, alright. Um, but... A bad Pokemon game, in my opinion, is still better than 90% of the games out there. So, I don't like Black and White and Black and White 2 that much. I just don't. But, I prefer Black and White to any other game ever created. So, there's that. Um, any other non-Pokemon game ever created. So, j just, just letting you guys know. So, yeah, I did do a video going over my thoughts on all of them, but that ended up being like a 45-minute video. And they, it wasn't very coherent and everything like that. So you can check that out if you want. But this is going to be my official rating. And these are not in order. And it's really annoying. And I could have tried to put them in order. But the it wouldn't let you go all the way to one side after picking up one. So it literally would have taken me like a half hour to get these all in one order. So I didn't bother doing that. So we're both going to have to suffer. <laughs> so yeah. So starting off with the, uh, the first one here is Alpha Sapphire. Now... Um, Alpha Sapphire, I think, was a Pokemon game that brought a lot of people into the Pokemon franchise. Or brought a lot of people back, because it was the first 3D remake of a Pokemon game. Well, first, really, remake of a Pokemon game since HeartGold and Soul Silver, which were the first remake, second remakes. But, um, I think this was, brought a whole new generation of players into the Pokemon universe. And these games, these games are pretty good, guys. I'm going to have to put this, I'm going to have to put Alpha Sapphire in A because I just really liked, I just really liked the game. You know, I thought it was just a solid game. You know, the animations were great. I loved how you could catch so many different Pokemon even after you beat the game. The shiny hunting method in that with the Dex Nav was, I was easily the best shiny hunting method in any Pokemon game. Um, this game was the first one that I, that really, really got me into sh uh, shiny hunting, like, super into shiny hunting and this was the first game that really really got me started on competitive pokemon so i i just have a lot of nostalgia for this game but i mean nostalgia can't really be the word i mean i've been playing pokemon for you know when this one come out 2013 so like 12 years 10 years before this game had been so i've been playing for a long time before these games came out but 
I, I still really like them. Um, Pokemon Black 2. I'm going to put that and it could be better. Because I do like these ones better than Black and White. But um, that's, that's why I'm going to put White and could be better. Or I'm impartial too, I should say, for um, Black and White 2. Because I don't hate Black and White. It's just... It, they've got a very weird style to me. And that could be because it was the transition from the regular 2D graphics of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver to the start of a 3D-ish graphic game. And I, I feel like a lot of these games that released around the same time had the same graphics, but it was like the 3D-ness of it, trying to make it 3D, was very unsettling to me. And, um, you know, this was the first game that Pokemon got animations when they're in battle, which was kind of cool too. But this was the first generation that I remember that introduced new Pokemon that I hadn't seen before. Before that, there were generations that introduced new Pokemon, but before that, I wasn't really old enough to have it registered, like, hey, these are new Pokemon. You know, this was the first game that I, that I completed the Pokedex in. It was just like, um, I had never seen, I hadn't seen any trailers for it, I hadn't seen any, I hadn't seen nothing for when these games came out. And I think I was like, Eight when these games came out, um, black and white, I should say, something like that. I might have been a little bit younger. I don't remember what year they came out. I think it was like two thousand and eight, but it, around there somewhere. But um, yeah. So I just I was young and seeing. I remember my mom went and I was in the car with her. I think we were coming back from seeing my grandparents when they bought these, when she bought the black and white for me. And I put it in and I remember seeing Lily Pup and everything. I picked a pig for my starter because I thought he was so cool. And then I realized he evolves into one of the worst starter Pokemon looks wise. And, um, <laughs> but I was, no, I think I picked Oshawa. Did I pick Oshawa my first play? I think I picked Oshawa my first playthrough. So like I had, I remember having a Samurai my first playthrough. No, I did pick Embor because I traded it for a Samurai later in the game in, in the GTS. But, um, yeah, so they, they just have a very weird style of playing for me. I think the 3D-ness of the games, the way that they tried to execute the 3D was really weird. And um, it might just be because this was, I feel like, a turning point for Pokemon. Um, I think these were the first games that introduced VGC, if I, I could be wrong. Black and White or Black and White 2, one of the two, I'm pretty sure were the first games that brought about VGC competitive Pokemon battling. I remember bringing these Pokemon Black and White, or Black and White 2, one of the two, bringing it into, it had to have been two, because I was in middle school at the time, and, or, I don't remember, it was one of the two. I remember coming in, and I had this guy that I was friends with in my middle school that I'd bring my DS in in the lunchroom in the morning and we used to just battle. And of course he was much better and better at battling than me. Now I could probably kick his butt, but, um, cause he doesn't play anymore. But, um, I remember bringing it in in the morning and showing him, um, the Pokemon that I had found for a team and we'd go and we'd battle before class in the morning. And, you know, it was very nostalgic to me. So I, I can't, that's why I can't say I hate them, but Black and White and Black and White 2 are definitely the most nostalgic for me out of any Pokemon games because it was the first one where I did, I hit a lot of my firsts in Pokemon Black and White. You know, first game that I completed my Pokedex. You know, that's, pro that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But um, a lot of firsts, you know, just a lot of different things that did. You know, the first animation, moving animations and battle and stuff like that, it's just... It's just awesome. I mean, I don't know. It's just kind of nostalgic to me, but I just, they are my least favorite Pokemon games, but I don't know if that's why. It's because they strayed so much from the playing style, but I do like X and Y, so I don't know. So let's move on. So you have Pokemon Blue. Now, I'm going to have to put red and blue up in the pretty good. Um, You can't. I mean, you can't just put, um, the first Pokemon games, you know, I could just put them in S, but, um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna put them in S, because, you know, they're the first Pokemon games, these are the games that started it all, and I started playing Leaf Green, um, Emerald and Leaf Green or something on my Game Boy when I was, like, four or five years old, 
and um, so I played these games, but you know these just the first ones and. Why does it look so... Like, you can see, like, Game Boy on the side of the blue, and then Game Boy Advance on the... Oh, that's Fire Red. That's why. Um, so, yeah. So, you you can't just put those in, in the A tier. One cannot simply put to the original Pokemon games. Because, I don't... When they created these Pokemon games, guys, do you think that they actually had the thought that, you know, one day these are going to be some of the biggest selling games of their friend of you know, Nintendo, you know, Pokemon is one of, if not the highest grossing Nintendo game ever created, Mario might, Mario might have beat it, but, or Sonic, oh, Sonic's and Sega, but, um, Mario might have beat it, but I don't know, but all I know is that, do you really think that they would have known, they, they had 151 Pokemon, and right now, currently, there's over a thousand Pokemon now, over a thousand, so, it just kind of, was like, huh, I wonder if uh, they ever thought that it would get as big as it did. And to go from the graphics of Pokemon Blue to Sword and Shield, yeah, I just think it's awesome. Crystal is also going to go to S. Crystal is a super... Crystal and Emerald are going to go to S. Because these are both third ones, games that came out after their original games that were just you know, just improve master improvements of the game. Now, I think I've only played Crystal once in my life, like, played it all the way through, because obviously you have Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But, um, most Pokemon games, I think from, starting from, um, uh, Platinum, Diamond Pearl and Platinum, uh, they are, I played every one of those games since then, like, at least eight, eight to ten times, but all the Game Boy ones I haven't played as much just because I have a Game Boy and I have all the games. But they're just um, I don't know. I should go back and play them, but I don't know. But yeah, so but they're just you know like a major step up. Like I remember seeing Suicune on the cover for it, and when I was younger, you know at the time when they came out, um, again it came out when I was real young. And I remember seeing it and being like, what is that thing? You know, like I was like four when it came out. So, I remember seeing that and being like, that's awesome. What is that? And then Rayquaza, obviously. This one has the most most nostalgia for me. Because obviously, um, Emerald was my first game that I played. Um, but, do I even remember what Pokemon I used? No, because I was too little and I probably didn't even finish it. But, yeah. Um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, are probably gonna go right up into here. I mean, they're, they're good games, um, but they're just remakes of the other ones. You definitely can't say they could be better. Uh, yeah. But, I, def I definitely like them. I thought they were, I thought they were pretty good. Um, they were, like, one of the first ones to have, like, real color in them. So, so that was really, really cool, but. Um, it's strange to see, like, like the third generation of games that they released, Generation 3, um, they had already remade the ones that they did in, like, 1999, so, but, um, Gold and Silver are both gonna go, um, into A tier, because, again, they're just solid games, but their third one is obviously better, Heart Gold is going to S, um, <coughs> Heart Gold and Soul Silver are going to S, they are my favorite Pokemon games, um, of all time, I freaking love the fact that you can go to Kanto in those games, um, and I know you can in, uh, Gold and Crystal too, but, uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, I should say, but, um, I don't know, I just really, really liked the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, like, I remember getting out my Pokey Walker when I was young and putting Pokemon over there and walking them and stuff, it's just crazy to think how long ago that was because I remember connecting Heart Gold and Soul Server to the Wii with the Pokemon Battle Revolutions that my mom would get for me at a Blockbuster. A lot of you guys don't even have never even been into a Blockbuster unless you're of a certain age. But 
I remember I used to go to Blockbuster every Friday after school with my mom, and she'd buy me, like, the new movie that came out and everything when I was young, and she'd always say if I wanted to get a game for the Wii that I could rent a game if I wanted to, and the one that I wanted to rent every time was Pokemon Battle Revolutions, and it was, and the data was saved on the Wii at the time, so you, so I could just bring back the game how many times I wanted, and, um... I could get my save file back, and I would transfer all the Pokemon over. And that was the first game that I played that allowed me to see the 3D graphics of the Pokemon game, of Pokemon. I know there was Coliseum and XD and everything like that, but I didn't have a GameCube. I never played those games. I've still never played those games. Because, all right, let's just take a detour here for a second. I really wanted to get Pokemon Coliseum, the transfer Pokemon from Coliseum to Sword and Shield. But I get on there... They are not selling Pokemon Coliseum for less than $60 still. That is insane. There was a Pokemon Coliseum on Amazon or something for $150, and people had bought it. Like, it just blows my mind. Like, these games have been out for so long, and they can still jack the prices up. I remember I got Pokemon Heart Gold um, again, because I, I had it for the longest time, and then I lost it or gave it to my cousin or something i don't even remember um but then i wanted to get it again and it was still like 60 or i think it was 45 bucks to get it and it's crazy that you know they can drop down in price but then when they become part of this series of games that are so popular that once they get a certain age they can jack the prices back up because they're considered classics or retro or whatever it is and to me, that's just... I mean, I could get a GameCube for 40 bucks at Walmart.com. Like, that's not bad. But spending $60 on a game that is 15, 16 years old? Like, that's crazy to me. That's just crazy. Back into the video. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, they could be better. Uh, again, they were the first games on the Switch. But I don't know. There's just something about them that... I just didn't like... I really didn't like that it was exactly like um, Pokemon Yellow. And the fact there was no breeding, there was no natures, um, there was no items, there was no certain Pokemon. It just... I kind of found it a little stupid. I did love how they followed you, but... Um, and the one thing that irritated me so much was the shiny chance and how easy the shiny shinies were to get in that game that you have people who don't even care about getting shiny Pokemon that had so many shiny Pokemon that you were just like... And then they can transform over to Sword and Shield. Like, they didn't work for the shiny Pokemon. People who get shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee don't work for their shiny Pokemon. Like, we had to work for our shinies before and after Let's Go. But that that's just my thoughts. Um, Pokemon Sun and Moon also could be better. Um, I remember... When they came out, I was so excited, but I don't like the fact that they didn't have gems. Um, you know, I just I just didn't like that, and the play style was weird, and um, I just I don't know, I just didn't. I know a lot of people feel the same, but that that's just my opinion. Um, again, I'm gonna have to put a Mega Ruby up in A. Per Diamond and Pearl are both gonna go into A. Platinum is going to S again. Any game that has a third one, it's obviously going to be better. But Platinum is just so awesome. Like, the Distortion World is so cool. Like, I remember as a kid playing that and being like, what is this? But I never actually, I don't even think I got too much past Distortion World when I was younger. But, yeah, it's crazy to me. I love, I love those games so much. But, and then Fire Red, you've got to put up here too. Um, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire are gonna go into A also. Um, they're, they're, they're good. They're really, really good games. Solid games. But, like I said, they're, the Emerald is just easily way better. Pokemon Sword and Shield are going to go into S. I don't care what everybody says. They are so great games, and I love the emphasis on competitive battling. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but I love Pokemon Sword and Shield. I love them. They're easily my second favorite games out of the entire franchise of Pokemon. I just think they're super cool. I, I love everything about the games. The only thing I don't like is that the Pokemon don't follow you, because I was so hoping that they would bring that back, but they didn't. But, yeah, so you, you just can't. Nah, I mean, I just, I love Pokemon Sword and Shield. 
Again, Pokemon uh, Silver is going to go into A tier just because, yeah. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver is going to go into S tier with Pokemon Heart Gold. Um, now, there won't be too many more S tier games, but Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon will go into A. Because, oh, not Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun, just Pokemon. And again, Pokemon Sun is going to go down with Pokemon Moon. But, um,. Yeah, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Pokemon Ultra Sun was was really good. They're just great games. Or they're they're pretty decent games. They're they are a major bump up from Sun and Moon. They definitely I think there was a different people who worked on the games. So they're just a major step up and bumped the the other ones into the A tier for me. So but yeah, I, I I highly enjoyed the games, and I will probably be going back to play them at some point. But um, <clears throat> I have to do say I do I did really like the Ultra Beasts. So uh, again, Pokemon White Two is gonna go into uh, B tier just because um, you know they could be better. But Pokemon Black is gonna go into C tier with Pokemon Y, Pokemon X and Y. Now here's where. Um, I don't know. I like Pokemon X and Y. Okay, the, the first like real 3D Pokemon game were Pokemon X and Y, and they're just good games. And I don't know. I that's just what I think. So, uh, why are there two Alpha Sapphires? There are two Alpha Sapphires in here. Okay, Pokemon Yellow is gonna go into S just because you can't not like po Pokemon Yellow. Is again, it's the first Pokemon game. You can't just put it into the A tier. Um, Pokemon Sword's also going to go into S tier. Um, Ultra Moon's going to go into A along with Diamond. And then there's a second Platinum too. So for some reason there was an extra. So that is my official ranking of the Pokemon games. Coming in at the in the S tier, the best, of po the best Pokemon games are Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Emerald, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Platinum, Sword, and Shield. Now, um, this is, these are the best Pokemon games. And then the ones that could be, that are still pretty good games, but ones that I can't put in the A tier, or in the S tier, are Omega Ruby and Sapphire, X and Y, Fire Red, Leaf Green, um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Platinum, or Diamond and Pearl, and Ruby and Sapphire. And gold and silver one of those i said and one of them i didn't but um yeah these ones and then the ones that i think that could be better are um black and white 2 sun and moon and let's go pikachu and eevee um i was so excited for pokemon let's go pikachu and eevee guys like i was so hyped for them and then i was really disappointed in the games that they weren't just they just weren't as good as i was hoping and then the ones that i liked the least were um black and white now they just they aren't Again, this is just my own opinion. You feel free to disagree, but they're just not in the, on the same level. That's all. But all right, guys, that is it for me. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe for more content like this. Leave a like down below. Tell me, shows me that you like the video, and slap a like on it. Comment. Let me let me know what you think, and hit that bell too because. That allows you to be notified whenever I do post another video. But other than that, guys, that is it for me. Like I say at the end of every video, I really got, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Nature General out. Peace.